and welcome to this week's episode of War Games Geek. So this week what I'm doing is I'm putting together some wild animals for my Roman gladiator arena. So what I've got here is I've got a large grizzly bear that I've primed with uh, the white primer from the Army Painter range. And uh, so this one is a bit of a beast of a figure. Uh, he's going to take a fair bit of paint. Uh, he comes based already, so I'm not going to add a base to him. I'm going to just make do with what I've got. And then the other animal I've got here is a lion uh, that's going to fight in the arena as well. And again, what I've done is I've primed him with the uh, white uh, primer spray. Uh, he also comes on his own little base there as well. And again, I'll probably just make do with what he's got rather than, um, rather than putting him on a, a circular base or anything like that. So they're the two animals that I'm going to put together. So uh, let's make uh, a start. So going back to the bear then, what I'm doing is I'm using fur brown for his fur coat. Seems to sort of be uh, logical to do that. And just making sure that I get the paint into all of the uh, little sort of gaps here. This is quite highly sort of detailed or sort of textured, this fur coat. So just make sure that you get it into all of the little recesses there. If needs be, it might need a second coat, and we'll come back and do that once it's completely dried. And just uh, just an, as an idea of what I'm using to brush this one, as I say, it's quite a big figure. Uh, so what I'm using here is it's called a monster brush. So it's just uh, holds a fair bit of paint in there and just gets it on. So let's just get that all into the into the details around the stomach there. I'm going to go around to the sort of back end and just sort of concentrate on just trying to make sure that I do fill all of those gaps. But as I say, if, if needs be, we can always give it a second coat of paint, that's no problem. So just zooming slightly ahead, this is the bear completely painted, one complete layer of, um, of fur brown across, across his whole, the whole figure. And now I need to leave that all to dry. So I'll put it to one side and I'll pick up my lion and I'm going to start off with the lion's mane. And again, what I'm doing here is I'm again using the fur brown uh, for that. And I'm going to show you a couple of different uh, sort of end results with the fur brown, how that works with the shading and doing some extra highlights afterwards. So it will have a couple of slightly different textures and they'll look a bit different. So I'm using a bit of a finer detail brush now. The monster brush has been put to one side and I'm going over the whole of this lion's mane with a fur brown and using a fine detail brush. So just trying to make sure I'm as careful as I possibly can be. To be, to be completely honest at this stage, it doesn't really matter if we go over edges, but do try and keep it as neat as you can. And as I say, practice sort of makes perfect. So as time goes on, you'll probably be a bit steadier with the brush. So just getting underneath, the, the mane goes right underneath the chin, and then that's that first bit done. And I've also added a bit of detail uh, to the uh, tip of the tail there as well. So let's just show you around the, the model. What I've also noticed is at the back, just behind, or just in front of the hind legs, there's also some fur there as well. So I've uh, done that in that fur brown shade uh, as well. So both figures now just need to be left to dry. The bear is drying. This one will be sort of dry very soon. So just put them down, leave them to one side, let them dry off and then we'll go back to our bear. Now what I'm doing here is I'm dry brushing over the top of the fur with skeleton bone. That's a kind of yellowy, sort of off-white, sort of a creamy colour. Uh, and I'm just doing a, a fairly heavy dry brush over the top of all of the fur. And that gives it a nice highlight. So how dry brushing works is uh, you use a dry brush, that's what it's called, a dry brush, and uh, load it up with paint and then we brush off or clear off as much of the paint as we can, which leaves a bit of a residue, and then that's what we use to sort of go over the top of this figure. So you can go heavy, you can go light. Uh, I'm kind of doing a sort of fairly a heavier mix here. So the fur brown colour is underneath, and then you've got this lighter shade over the top. Just going over all of it, over the face, over the head, over his back. And just at the moment, just concentrate on that face area. So that's it. He's now been completely dry brushed. And uh, as you can see, that's given him a bit more sort of depth. It's not so flat. Um, that's the, the look I'm trying to achieve. So next stage then is to paint in the uh, inside of the mouth uh, and the teeth. So what I'm using here 
is pure red uh, for the inside of the mouth. Uh, and it's just get right inside there and just get that paint in between the sort of teeth and the gums area. So that's that bit done. There's a tiny bit more I can see that I've missed there. So sorry, a little bit out of focus and my thumb's in the way. Um, let's just bring that around a little bit. So I'm just taking my time now, uh, trying to uh, not go over the, any areas I've already painted. And then get the tongue painted in. So I uh, say, so apologies, I can see it's a little bit blurry there. I'll show you that in a moment, just uh, let that zoom work. So just tipping it upside down, just make it work for yourself. Obviously, you know, make, move the figure rather than trying to sort of sprain your wrist. So that's the inside of the mouth done. Uh, so what I need to do next then is I need to concentrate on painting in the teeth. Just uh, have a look at that now. So what I'm using is mummy robes for the teeth. So they're not pure white. I've done them in a sort of slightly off white, like almost a sort of cotton white color. And um, just painting in uh, the teeth. So just taking my time there now. Try not to make any mistakes. Just bring them a bit closer to the camera. And just taking my time painting in uh, those those sharp teeth that uh, some poor, poor gladiator is going to get bitten by uh, in due course. So that's uh, the, the bottom teeth are now painted in. So I'm just going to take my time going around the top, trying to avoid making any bodges across the, the top there where the fur has now been dry brushed. Um, and that's a bit clearer. And now my thumb's in the way again. <laughs> so just taking my time there, bringing that mummy robes white just down across the top of the uh, sorry bottom of the top lip and that's starting to look pretty decent quite happy with that so let's just get those f sharp teeth done and there we are so not quite bearing a blue blue house but uh, a little less le little less friendly so what's next to do then is I need to paint on the uh, detail for the nose. So what I'm using for that is dark stone, uh, which is almost uh, sort of black. It's a very sort of charcoal-y black color. So a little bit of detail there. And now it's really starting to take shape. He's starting to, you can start, sort of start to see the, uh, the face. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also, I don't normally paint in eyes, but because this is a bigger um, figure, than uh, the normal, I'm gonna paint in the eyes as well, again, using the dark stone. And I'm also gonna paint in the, uh, the claws with that color as well. So let's just get a little bit of paint there. Nothing too much, we don't wanna overdo it. We're just uh, picking out the very tips of the claws. So that's one side. And what I've done as well is I've painted the pad of his hand in that color as well. So now you can see he's really starting to look the part. As I say, we've done the pad of his uh, of his hand, or his front paw rather, and uh, I've done the uh, claws on the feet as well, the back legs. So there we are, so he's starting to look really decent. So the next thing then to do is I'll just show you around the figure from all sides. I'm pleased with that. Yeah, really pleased with how he's looking. So that's uh, just a flat brown skeleton bone over the top as a dry brush, and then the red for the tongue, the teeth in that off-white color, and then the dark stone. Then what I've done is I've brushed him in the quick shade dip, so that's him completely coated in quick shade, and the next thing to do is just leave him now to dry for at least 48 hours. So what I do now is pick up the lion, and I'm going to go over him and what I'm doing is I'm going to color the whole of this one in in desert yellow so it's desert yellow all over this lions uh, the rest of the body so I've done the mane already uh, we're just going to now concentrate on, on the rest so let's get that desert yellow into the gaps there trying to avoid making any mistakes again like uh, like I do pretty much every time <laughs> and uh, we're going to do the body as well. Obviously, the whole thing, this whole uh, line will be done in that desert yellow colour. It'll probably need a couple of coats. Um, 
so let's just take our time there and start making him look lionish, whatever that means. Um, so that's how he's starting to take shape. And what I've done is I've also done his face as well. Now I'm not going to paint in his eyes. He's slightly smaller than the bear. Um, the head on him is probably just slightly bigger than um, the the sort of human figures. So when he's shaded, I'm hoping that will uh, uh, pick out the eyes quite nicely. So there we are. So that's both sides done. And what we need to do then with him is give him a dip in the quick shade as well. So that's two co coats of the desert yellow the fur brown on the mane and then as I say we'll, we'll now need to start uh, giving him a wash with the quick shade strong tone dip so that's him now dipped as well um, so starting to start to look pretty decent pleased with how he looks um, and let's just turn him around the other side to show you there so the next stage then is to once he's dry is to spray him with the matte varnish so this guy now, the bear, has been matte varnished and he's had a base put on him. He's going to need another couple of coats of the matte varnish. He seems to have soaked it up and he's still a fair bit shiny. Um, but I'm pleased with the end result on him. And then what I've done is I've used some matte black around the bottom of the base just to sort of tidy that up. So that's him done down there. Excuse the barbarians in the background. And then I've done the same with the lion. So he's had a base as well. But the difference here is what I've done is after the... Quick shade has dried. I've dry brushed his mane with the skeleton bone afterwards. So you can see it's actually quite different to the, the appearance of the bear. And that brings us to the end of this video. So these now are ready to jump into the arena and start fighting with the gladiators. So please do like, subscribe and share the video. I hope you've enjoyed watching this series. There's one more to do, which is making the arena. And as always, thanks for watching.